Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November. So, happy birthday for those of you that are born in November. So, what do we have for Scorpio for November? Let's start right here. This is for November, okay? What do we have for Scorpio for November? Everybody wants to know. What do we have for Scorpio? Light. Light. This is the sun card. This is happiness. This is yes. Yes. This is being accepted. This is healing. This is new love. New beginning. A breakthrough. This is a new day. This is a time of growth and extreme happiness. This is this is bliss. Okay? This is like a new warm place. This is a, a it's beautiful, okay? It's where you can just be yourself, all right? This is a blessing. So you may be feeling blessed this month. Definitely uh, feeling warm and uh, accepted. Uh, great health. Just really, really extremely happy this month. So, hmm. And that's a, that's a new beginning. Sun is a new beginning. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So that is new love, right? That's new love. It's a new start in love. It's, uh, again, happiness. Extremely happy. So this is extreme happiness right here. You are going to have a beautiful month. Happy birthday to you. This is going to be a good birthday. So somebody loves you by the looks of things. Because the sun is a card of love. Okay? And the ace of cups is a card of love. So you are going to be getting a lot of love this month. Probably more love than you've gotten in a long time. So... <laughs> Man, yeah, I'd be able to stay in your seat. Put it that way. Anyhow, um, new start in love. It is absolutely beautiful. There's going to be a flood of emotion as well. I think this is like an uh, overwhelming amount of love, okay, and support. So, what do we have for Scorpio? You win. That's you win. So, I'm not sure what is going on. I mean, it looks like we got a win here. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, looks like you're winning something. But the sun card is a card of freedom as well. It's a yassy answer. So we'll take those and we'll stop right there. Now, I wonder... Now, I, I never know how many cards I'm going to take of the round ones. Two is a card of soulmates, partnerships, uh, beginnings of a foundation, a need to have faith and trust. You're on the right track. Okay, there's there you could be dealing with a soulmate here. Uh, clouds, temporary problems, not good. Wishbone, a wish is granted. So, one of your wishes is going to be granted, but you do have some temporary problems. Cut the sun card is a card of freedom, so it's freedom from stress, freedom from darkness. Uh, whatever this problem is, you're going to be broken free from it. A wish is definitely being granted for you. This is a new start in love. It leads, you're going to, this is going to be a good month for you. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's just see what we got here. You're going to be feeling it. Put it that way. You're going to be feeling the love. It's like you asked for for it and here it is. So what do we have for Scorpio? A three of cups. Now that is celebrating, having fun, socializing, drinking, getting together, uh, partying, having a lot of fun, communicating. So you're going to be celebrating. You are going to be celebrating. Uh, very, very happy. There is going to be a celebration. This is good luck, good fortune. 
I think we should stop right here. This is destiny. This is meant to be. This is the wheel of life spinning you in a new direction. Okay, you are going in a new direction. One cycle of your life is over. Okay, this is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. This is being in the right place at the right time. A positive change that is coming. Good luck. Okay, this is a reward. Getting a reward of some sort. Um, whatever it is, it's meant to be. Okay, this is destined. A fated event. So there's fate here. And it is good. It's really, 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 really good. This is definitely a wish being granted. It's going to make you extremely happy, whatever this is. Ah, seizing a new opportunity. You may not have been interested. You may have been ignoring something or you weren't looking for love or you weren't looking for something, but now you are. Okay, or somebody that you're dealing with, with that Four of Cups reverse. Somebody wasn't looking, or they were missing an opportunity, or they weren't seeing something. Now they see it. It's right there in front of them. It can't be missed. It can't be. It's right there. They're interested, too. This is very, very interested. I'm interested. I want this. This is this. I want it. So somebody is taking an opportunity. This is the end of stagnation. This is looking forward now, looking at a bright future. You are definitely looking at a bright future. I think you're going to be extremely happy. Something is happening here. Ten of Cups. Unbelievable. This is, ex I mean, I, 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 it don't get any better than this. It absolutely does not get any better than this. The Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Sun card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Cups reverse. That is, it's much better. This is fantastic. This is extreme happiness, being at peace. This is being very comfortable in love. You know, this is like, this is your dream come true. This is, this is permanent love. The storm is over. This is definitely a spiritual blessing of some sort. You are being blessed. Some sort of reward is coming your way. It's unbelievable. A new cycle is beginning for you. Whatever this new cycle is, it's going to make you very, very, very happy. You're going to be dancing. You're probably going to be walking on air. Seven of Pentacles. There could be a relocation in the future. You may be relocating. You may be moving somewhere. Packing up. Moving. Leaving. Because this is the end of a season. And this is too. The season is over. The cycle is over. It's time to go someplace else. Maybe you're going to be moving. Ah! Take a look at that. Queen of Pentacles. So we got a Queen of Pentacles here. She is, you know, she's valuable. She's a hard worker. She has a lot to offer. So you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a person that is very loyal. This person is loyal, stable, solid, hard, hard, hard worker. Um, very devoted, very motherly, very nurturing, very generous, very capable, very abundant. Very sensual, somebody that is down to earth and grounded. This person is a homemaker. This person has is has a golden opportunity in their hands. I feel as though you are you maybe you're relocating with this person or you're relocating to that person. This Queen of Pentacles is uh Well, she's got something in her hand and it's very, very valuable. Okay. This is an opportunity. She may be giving you an opportunity. She may be giving you, I don't know if it's money. This is a gift. It is a gift. She has the reward. She may be your reward. That could be the case. This is a golden opportunity to break free from something. 
<laughs> Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody that is business-like. Maybe a business owner, business woman, business. It could be a businessman. This could be a man or a woman, I feel. Anyhow, I feel like you are, this is relocation. This time, this chapter of your life is over. It's time, it's, you're being you're being guided in a new direction or you're, the wheel is spinning, okay? It's spinning you towards this queen of pentacles. This is somebody that <laughs> is very stable, very solid, okay? Ah, king of cups reverse. So king of cups reverse. Now that is a need to communicate. That's your energy, okay? You're going to need to open up. You're going to need to open up your heart. You, you are going, or, you know, if the queen, whoever this, could be somebody from the past, okay? I don't know. Uh, the King of Cups reverse is an individual that doesn't have good intentions, okay? And it may not be you. Uh, the King of Cups in reverse is somebody that is non-communicative, uh, secretive, closed off. Um, not looking for a relationship, not looking for love. Uh, mm. there's investment here a need to invest perhaps you need oh, what the hell is this Six, somebody from the past somebody is clinging to the past somebody I don't know if it's you or this queen of pentacles uh, six of cups reverse that is clinging to the past packing up and leaving home it's time to leave the past behind you may be packing up and leaving home now, I don't know, you must be dealing with another water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this is your energy, a need to master your emotions. Somebody needs to master their emotions. You may be feeling very emotional. Maybe you can't master it because you got to pack up and leave home. I don't know. There's something about leaving, you know, leaving the past behind. It's time to go. It is, I mean, this may have to do with your family, your parents, your children, your mother, your father. Um... Your life is changing. Your direction is changing. I think you're going to be extremely happy with the outcome. You are headed towards something very solid, something long-term. This is something permanent, a permanent housing, permanent home, permanent relationship, happily ever after, whatever it is. But it will require moving, moving, because moving is here, moving away from the past. Leaving home, whatever that means to you. Um, hmm. Fool, starting fresh, starting with a clean slate, putting your feet on new ground, okay? Uh, leaving everything behind, okay? This is leaving the baggage, not taking everything with you. Uh, starting from scratch, starting a new journey, starting a new chapter. You're going to be starting a new chapter. This is the beginning, the very, very, very beginning. Zero is before one. This is the very beginning of happily ever after. Happy new beginning, happy new life, okay? I feel like this is a need to take a risk, a need to have faith. This is exciting. You have an exciting new opportunity for happiness. This is this is your wish, okay? Your wish has been granted, Oh, God. Some of you may have maybe deepening a bond with somebody that you're going to marry. Okay, this could be an engagement, a marriage. Definitely happily ever after. Okay? Whatever is going on, this is extreme happiness. I have never seen anything like it. I'm stopping. Good luck.